I am so excited to be sharing this with you. So this is my friend Emily Toops. Hi. Um, she has a company called Toops & Co. that has amazing products. And so she is just visiting us like, just to visit Hanging us. out. Not to like, I told her, I was like, bring products because I want to do video. So this was totally my idea and I am just really excited to have her here to share the amazing benefits of tallow balm and natural skincare because this is my new skincare stuff like this is this is what I'm wearing now this is what I'm using so I wanted to share that with you guys because I do get questions of people wanting to know what products that yeah. I use and what I recommend and I trust Emily because I feel like we source all of our products ourselves. Um, all the ingredients are all individually sourced by us. They are certified organic, even the essential oils that we use. Um, and you will be hard pressed to find a cleaner skincare. We really pride ourselves on being um, the cleanest in skincare. So we don't want to put on our skin mm -hmm. what we wouldn't eat. So I get a lot of people that will be like, oh my toddler got into my balm and I was like, well, technically you could eat everything in there. Um, might not taste good, but you could. <laughs> yes, and I mean, just knowing that our skin is our biggest organ, so it's like super important of what you put on your face, what you put on your um, on your body, on your armpits, like she has a deodorant, it's amazing. Um, it's important to have good stuff. Yeah. So, and her quality is amazing. So there are other natural skincare options, but they might be a bigger company. And so generally when people get really big, like some of the ones out there, the quality, quality, is quality can go down. So that's what I love. Her and her husband, make them. <laughs> they make all the products themselves. And I mean yeah. like, and you're supporting a, a family. You know, this is small business. We've got, you know, Black Friday coming up. And what is Saturday? It's like small business small Saturday. Super, yeah, and then Cyber Monday. We can yeah. just do a three day. Yeah, couple. so like. Get them all. If you need to buy any skincare for your friends, for yourself, for your family. Tubesandco.com. Tubesandco.com. <laughs> you want to go there and you want to check it out because when you support the Tubes family, you're, you know, when you support when, our dream. <laughs> yes, you're so well, and you're supporting a small business. And I think that is really important. You know, it's just important that we support people in the community. Not only do they do this though, but they have also homesteaded. So they're also homesteaders. So we've been having a great time talking <laughs> with them about all the stuff. Cow that they, milking. And yeah. <laughs> they, chicken they, raising. So yeah, so they, um, we have a lot in common with them and we've just been really enjoying Homeschool, ourselves. Homeschool. Yeah, <laughs> she homeschools and um, obviously natural living, healthcare, you know, like just it all being healthy. Hand in hand. Yeah, so that's why it's so amazing. But um, I do want you to talk about the tallow and okay. why it's so good and why you use tallow as opposed to other, other oils. So tallow is m the most um, bioavailable for our skin. It's the closest to our own skin sebum. And the tallow that we source comes from local rural farms that do 100% grass fed, no grain. Um, we buy this from them, these small families to support them, and we render all the tallow ourselves. So we call it, we've kind of got like our secret family recipe <laughs> of how we render the tallow. And it doesn't have that tallow smell. So you get like a really amazing smelling mm -hmm. balm. If you've ever smelled um, any any tallows before that maybe you um, were like, ooh, I smell like a barn or I smell yeah. like a rendered cow. Um, it, sm <laughs> it smells fantastic. And I'm not just saying that because we do it, it. It really does smell good. So I will say that, that I didn't realize that tallow smelled um, because really my experience with tallow has been Emily's products, but I have smelled other tallow products um, and I was like, oh, yeah, what is going on with this? It stinks. Um, and apparently tallow that you can buy, like, I don't know, in the store, can you buy tallow in the store? Mm, already rendered. Already, no. if you render, if you buy already rendered tallow though, it smells. It has like, a, it's it can, a beefy, it can have a beefy smell. Oh. Um, so, which I wasn't aware of that until there's this other tallow product that I smelled and I was like, why does it smell like that? Because Emily's right, doesn't yeah. smell big, like that. Uh, one of the biggest questions that we get is how does that tallow balm smell? 
I'm like, it smells amazing. It does. Um, all of our balms, all of the percentages of the essential oils are according to Robert Tisserand's um, essential oil safety guidelines. So um, they're safe and they smell great. Mm -hmm. We're not adding all this essential oil to cover up the tallow smell. It really complements the tallow and smells, you know, good on in its own right, but also has therapeutic benefits. Yeah. So, so today awesome. yes. we're going to do our November product of the month was our glow mask. And I was really excited. This is one, of the, probably my second favorite um, product that we've created. So today we're going to use it and put, do some face masks and just kind of hang out. And yes. We've been having a fun couple of days. And so now we get to I know come they're going to leave and tomorrow. I'm really sad about that. I'm like, everybody who comes to visit us, I'm like, can't you just move in next door? Like, yeah, <laughs> So the face mask, you really only need like uh, about a fourth of a teaspoon. That's crazy. It's because you're going to mix it. So you're okay. just going to need, well, since we're doing two, since we're going to do us both, okay. I'll do about like a half a teaspoon, but not a lot. You don't need a lot okay. at all. And then how much water do you add? Because I think I always so add the, too much water. Yes. So instead of like pouring water into mm -hmm. it, I'll just like dip my brush and just put a couple. Do you want me to get a little spoon? Dots. Or no. No, this is good. This is good. Really? Okay. So that's it. I, I'm totally doing this wrong then when I, I haven't ever used your mask, but when I do other masks, like. That's it. You just want it into I do a it paste. Wrong. That's, that's it. Oh, wow. So most of it's going to be on your, on your brush. Okay. If you don't use a brush, you can just mix it up your finger. You don't need to. But you, you shouldn't use metal, have. right? You right. should you only use glass or wood. Yes. Or paintbrush. Wood, glass, <laughs> or maybe like a ceramic, um, vessel to mix it up in. All right, she's gonna paint my face, y'all. Uh, a little bit more water. There. This would be super fun. I really should do the side facing, um, other side, okay. facing the camera. It's a little bit dry. Add a tiny bit more water. Okay. There we I didn't, go. I didn't wash my face this morning because I knew we were doing this. That's totally fine. Um, some people ask me like, do you wash your face with the yeah. charcoal soap first before you do the mask? I was just gonna ask you. <laughs> and you don't, you don't have to, um, because this is cleansing. It's not a soap, but you're gonna okay. cleanse your face with the. Um, with the clay. So the ingredients in the mask is Australian pink clay, white cannelin clay, um, there are crushed walnut seeds in there, and that's what's going to make it exfoliating. Um, hyaluronic acid, which is already naturally occurring in our skin, but as we age, you start to lose that. And then we have whole food vitamin C and aloe vera powder. And the aloe vera powder is hydrating, like the hyaluronic acid. And then the vitamin C is just antioxidant. There you go. And <laughs> How do I you, look? you look good. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so let's do it again. All right. This will give you a good month or two of masks. Okay. How often should I do this? Um, I tell people two to three times a week, really, as often as you want. I think in the summer when I'm oilier and I'm outside more and have more like environmental dirt getting on, mm -hmm. um, you could do it more often. In the winter, this is fun. Once a week. Yeah, I know. Okay. It's like. <laughs> so, ladies, you know. buy this and then have your friends over. Yeah. And uh, adult sleepover. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Girls weekends, retreats, you know, this is what you want to do. You want to. So I really like the mask. I feel like it complements really well with the other products because uh -huh. of the vitamin C, um, the hyaluronic acid, the aloe vera powder. It's <laughs> because of the... <laughs> so because the fire is here, it's, it's definitely like, drying. like uh, it's, it's drying us up. But that's all right. So how long do you leave the mask on for? I'll leave it until it dries. Okay. We don't have, we don't have any good news. I know, we'll have to go get it. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a little hole in our plot. We just realized that we forgot. We forgot. Get, um, a, I have washcloths. Yeah, washcloths and hot, hot water. I'll go get some. So leave it on until it dries. Which and is like dried over so here. So what, <laughs> what I like to do is put it on. Actually, I'll put it on and then walk around the house, scare the kids a little. <laughs> They're like, mommy, what's up? I know, face? my kids do this. They're like. And then right. once it's dry, um, I get a hot washcloth. And as I'm taking it off with the hot water, 
I'm taking it off in like circular mm -hmm. motions because okay. the walnut shells that are in it is what's exfoliating and that's kind of like exfoliating your face. Nice. And then after you rub it off, you'll still feel like a little bit of grit. Once it's all uh -huh. off, you just give you a good rinse and pat dry and you're okay. ready for your glow serum or your frankincense balm, whatever is uh, your favorite. Whichever one you like. Yes. So, okay, we talked about the tallow and it just has frankincense essential oil in it. Yes. And then the glow serum is what? It's okay. So it's amazing. So I don't have to say it all by memory. Yeah. Um, in the glow serum is virgin organic grapeseed oil, avocado, virgin organic avocado oil, virgin organic evening primrose oil, pomegranate seed oil, carrot seed oil, helichrysum, rose absolute, jazz, jasmine absolute, hoewood oil, vanilla, and then it's steeped with calendula flowers. Um, and everything in here is certified organic. And what's different about the oils in this glow serum mm -hmm. is we buy them cold pressed. And so when I buy them from this company, they are cold pressing them, putting them in the bottle, slapping a date on it, and sending it straight to me. So not only is it certified organic, but it's fresh. Yeah. So I'm I am ordering those oils when I want to make the glow serum. Okay. And I'm ordering them like pressed within the last month. Oh wow. And so they're fresh. Um, and the smell, I, I try to explain like the smell. Mm -hmm. It's earthy, but you're gonna be smelling that avocado and that carrot seed oil. Um, and I like smell fresh pressed. Yeah. So I, so you know, Justin had the spot on his skin head, damage. and we went to the dermatologist, and it was just skin damage. And the dermatologist was just like, if it starts doing these weird things, then come back and I'll burn it off, <laughs> clean it up for you. So then I found Emily's, or I don't, I think you came out with it, or I don't know. I, I somehow found out about it, and I was like, ooh. I looked at the ingredients and I was like, hmm, these are all like really nourishing to the skin. So I started using it on Justin's spot. And I personally think it looks better, but I mean, you know, I use it on Justin every night. <laughs> I have him, when he takes a shower, he uses a charcoal bar, and then I, I, I usually put the glow serum on him. He sometimes remembers, but you know, yeah. he's a guy. So tight. yeah, okay, I'm gonna go get a washcloth. And then, um, oh, look at Hot here. water. And a washcloth. Trent. Thank Holy you, darling. So kindly. Fixing us up. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hot water. And then I kind of leave it wet because otherwise it's not going to want to like, rub right. off. Okay. And then just like take a little corner of it and like in circular motions okay. rub it off. Let's do it. Get us a, can you get us another cloth? Yeah. Nothing so fancy. we don't have a mirror, so I'm going to tell you where you missed. Yeah. You can tell do. me where I missed. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know, cause I don't know where my mirror went. I have a mirror that's like, you know, moves around with me. Yeah. The kids have done something to it. And you um, just kind of want to rub those. And you can feel it. Walnut scrubbing. shells in there, giving you a good scrub. And it's really important. I think people don't realize it's really important not to over exfoliate our face. Okay. And so a lot of products out there that have those micro beads or those like crystals in it, uh -huh. it's actually like aluminum silicate, which obviously oh. you don't want to be putting on your face. Um, Ooh, but that's that what, awful. and it's abrasive. And so mm -hmm. you don't want to be, um, you want to be ex gently exfoliating your face. Over exfoliating causes premature aging and drying. Oh, okay. And all those things. So, so I have not exfoliated shells much at very, all. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I rarely exfoliate my face. Apparently that's a good thing. Well, you don't want, you want to oh, exfoliate. You, so get closer to your hair. Me <laughs> I, too. <laughs> I got up close. Okay. All right, let me tell you what you got. You got okay. here. Okay. Here. Your eye right there. <laughs> So how close can you get to your eye? Like, you, you no, don't nothing get too close. in this is going to be. It's not like don't go it's near your eyes. Hurt it. Right? Nothing, it's more right. just like it's just that this skin is gent is, just gonna, is sensitive, and you don't want to be exfoliating your too your much gentle your one, eyelids yeah, or anything. your eyelids. Yeah. Okay. All right, right here. <laughs> and there. Okay. This is great. Oh, yeah. this is what this is what girlfriends do when they get together. I feel like I'm kind of, I might be all the way off, maybe a little bit right here. No, you're good there. So get close to your lips too. I am. Um, I got real close apparently. You got on the right lip. here and right there. Okay. okay. One of the things that I like to tell people who have dry skin are worried maybe the clay would be a little too drying for their skin mm -hmm. is instead, and I have oily skin, you know, combination uh -huh. of oily skin. Yeah. One of the things you can do is instead of mixing with water is to mix with honey. And honey's really hydrating oh, for the skin. I know yeah. it's really fun. So, if I do a face mask and I want 
to feel like super smooth like uh -huh. this the next day, but I think it's gonna be too harsh. Mm -hmm. I'll mix it with honey, but when you're mixing it with honey, it's not gonna dry. So you're just gonna like kind of put it on, let it sit for a minute, and then you're gonna kind of scrub it off without it ever drying because the honey is mm -hmm. gonna stay sticky. Yeah. Um, but it's it's hydrating, so you don't okay. have to worry about over um, drying over this drying. thing. I yeah. might do that in the winter because it's so dry. It is. Yeah. Right next to this. So very in the south, dry. we don't have that issue. <laughs> I know. So. She's from. Okay, so they live on the coast of Alabama. So that is. I'm not gonna throw your hand. I'm dropping your face. Okay. Should... Little drop one. I'm just gonna show you how little you need, like literally. Okay. Cause I. Use That's what I do. I do four drops. One, That's it, girl. Two. I'm like, three, give me a fourth of a dropper full every time. Don't because let it drip yeah, off your chin. <laughs> because I'm putting it on in the morning. Uh huh. And then. Okay, I need help. You don't want it to be too much. Like if you put makeup on afterwards. Well, maybe that's my problem. I feel like maybe I look dewy. <sighs> Too dewy. Yeah, you don't need too much. A little goes a long way. It does. With all of the products. But I love it. Especially, oh, it feels so good. So this is glow mask and glow yeah. serum. And now I feel like a baby. <laughs> I know. It really, I feel like. It's so it's, soft. It's yeah. very soft. So I need to do this on Justin. Hyaluronic acid is going to like plump that skin. You have vitamin C that's antioxidant. Okay. And then you're going to put your glow serum on and you'll be good to go. And the stuff in the, the, stuff in the glow serum is like, because I was researching oils that can help with sun damage yes and these are like basically all of what i was looking at so that's why i was like i'm not gonna mix my own i'm just gonna support my friend <laughs> um and you know i just want you to know like i'm not like she's not paying me or anything <laughs> no. like this is totally we're like we're just bffs <laughs> so basically i just want to so support her and i just want to get the word out too about natural skincare because i think so many times people don't they don't think about what they're putting on their skin. They think about what they're putting in their bodies, like food, right. but they don't think about like what's going on their skin. So that's why I'm like, this is a really good skincare that I want to do. I'm going to put this on my lips too. Yes. This is, I've been using this as like I it's balm. my lip balm. I feel like my lips have been drier. She does carry lip balm. I need to buy um, some. Since we've been up here in the mountains, it's just humid on the coast and we don't have a fire in the yeah. house and it's just dry. It's been drier. So now Emily is going to put makeup on me. It's the I, Rebecca Rhodes makeover. So I I wear I do so I have I do wear makeup occasionally. I don't wear makeup every day. Um, and all I wear right now is the mineral makeup from Tubes mm -hmm. and Co. And then I use a blush. That's all I use. And I use um, let's see which is this one? Dusty Rose. Petal is Petal. what I've been using. I think sure this is the one I've been using because yeah so I have petal and then I just use the mineral makeup and that's literally all I wear that's I don't your, wear that's your simple yeah, yeah I don't wear mascara I don't wear eyeliner I don't wear lip gloss I will say Lily has been loving the lip gloss <laughs> that girl she's like <laughs> putting it on because it's important like I want I want her because she's expressed interest in wearing some makeup. Yeah. I want her to feel like she has um, good the, options. The opportunity to do right. it. It's and okay. I, I don't want her to use junk. Um, so, one of the main reasons that we were at so we started Tubes & Co. in the first mm -hmm. place is our daughter had really bad eczema and you know we went to the doctor and they were like you know steroids and they kind of just gave us no other options so I was like I'm gonna get on the computer and I'm gonna figure out and I'm gonna do all the research that I can to find out what can we put on her skin like how can we do this without steroids and we came across tallow and I called up a friend of mine who owns a um, a beef operation and you know, they do grass-fed beef and I was like can I buy some tallow from you and she's like what is that and I was like it's like beef fat and she's like well, we don't get that back from the butcher you know you know five years ago mm -hmm. when tallow wasn't really mainstream and she was like well let me call the butcher and I'll I'll get back with you mm -hmm. so she calls me and she's like um yeah I can get you a pack of the fat it's not rendered or anything and you could do whatever you want with it mm -hmm. so she called me up out of the blue one day and we had just got back home from church so like we're all dressed up and I'm like she's like meet me you know here I'm like meeting on the side of the road to get the tallow <laughs> and I come back and my husband's like okay what did you get and I'm like I got this chunk of fat and so now we're gonna do something with it so we did it have it. a kidney in it still no it didn't okay it didn't it was just, the it was one just that white I got, chunky pieces the one that I got still had like organs in it no we and didn't. I was like what do I do with it <laughs> so we just <laughs> 
we rendered it down and we made this towel balm and it was it, it, it's so great because it's, it's very anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. um, it's full of really great vitamins and nutrients and it's got conjugated linoleic acid, which is very anti-inflammatory, which at the time I didn't know any of this. Mm -hmm. I was just like, what can we do? Yeah, your daughter has so, a problem yeah. and you're gonna fix it. So we just started slathering her with this and... So you just put tallow, like rendered, you rendered We rendered the tallow and nothing else. And, and you it. just were slow while it was still warm, like, <laughs> like rubbing, rubbing it, it in her. all her eczema spots. And it was so awesome that we like kind of sharing with friends uh -huh. and family, and they're like, "Well, I want some." So I was like, kind of giving people some. And honestly, that's the, how the entire business started. And once we were like well on our way to just doing like tallow mm -hmm. products and maybe some deodorant and stuff, um, I was like, "Well, what about?" good makeup you know we were yeah. already into skincare and I wanted our daughter to be able to grow up and not have to worry what was in her makeup that mm -hmm. she could use it and I kind of thought of it one day when she's like digging through my makeup bag and I'm like oh don't use that like yeah don't put that in your skin you're, you're a kid you right and so then I was yet. like why am I putting this on mm. my skin and one of the first makeup products we came out was with was the lip gloss yeah okay and everything has kind of branched off from there and it's just been you know a real blessing and has turned into this business that now our whole family does together and it's just if someone would have told me five years ago that I would be doing skincare from and tallow yeah. I've been like no <laughs> not me right <laughs> not me who washes my face with water and right. doesn't wear makeup um, to owning the skin and be in the face of Toots & Co. <laughs> That's right but I mean it's just amazing how the problem that you had like if you are having that problem other people are probably having yes. this problem too so, and we have so many customers that email us and they're like, your tallow bomb, you know, I use it on my son or my daughter mm -hmm. or our baby on their bottom and just for everything. It's like, I call it all the all in one, an all in one, which mm -hmm. is actually the original bomb. And now we have a baby bomb and a baby wash. Yeah. That's super gentle. Just, I will say on my scar, on my appendix scar, I've been using the frankincense, frankincense balm. face balm and I have seen a great improvement in the redness of it and it just looks better. All the cells regenerate. Yeah, so it's not just for your face, it's for other places. And Josiah just started having a flare of eczema, and so I've been putting the original on it, and it has helped it tremendously. I mean, I know that, you know, eczema is just an outward sign of an inward problem, right. so we're focusing on the inward problem too, but. That's what I tell all the customers. In the meantime, me, yeah. Work on the inside. In the meantime, if you're gonna put anything on the outside, number one, stop with the petroleum, petroleum um, products. products. You know, like, I'm not even gonna say any names, yeah. but you know what they are. Get those off the skin and start feeding the skin with things that it needs to heal itself. Mm -hmm. Because I knew, I knew I was, I knew I wasn't gonna use junk, you know. <laughs> and right. so I was like, when I noticed I that you had coconut oil, yeah, which but can it's be very drying. drying. Um, so that's part of the trial and error. People mm -hmm. are like, well, we've got off the petroleum products, and then we tried coconut oil, or then we tried shea butter. We have a nut allergy yeah. or something. The tallow is just um, kind of a... It's amazing. A I will say within two days of using tallow balm on his eczema, it was almost gone. I was shocked. It I pulls was like, all the redness out and then it also, also softens the skin. And it makes... And so he'll be like, I'm itchy. So then I put that on it and it calms the itch out. And he like... It, yeah, I mean, it was just, it was, he's, he's just I like, think, can I get some tallow uh, balm, mom? And I'm like, yeah, let's slather it on. So it, while it's a, it is a, a soothing product for it, it's not like, you know, the end of what I'm going to do to try right. to figure out what his eczema is. Cure. Yeah. But, you know, um, for that, find a functional medicine doctor and they will find the root cause. That's yes. what you need to find is root cause because there's something causing the eczema. But this is great in the meantime yeah. <laughs> to use on it. And, you know, I'm not saying don't go to the doctor, but I am saying use this in conjunction with what the doctor is. And I wish I would have known. So Josiah had eczema as a baby. And I wish I would have known about Tallow yeah, yeah. way back know then. Know better, do better. Yeah. So now I know better, so I'm doing better. And um, and actually, we use it for everything. I'm yeah. like, it's like, Mom, this is bothering me. I'm like, let's put some Tallow Balm on it. <laughs> My so kids bring like, it to me. They're like, hey, can you put this on me? And I'm like, yes, come on. <laughs> like, on their bug bites, on, yeah. their, on their cuts. Yeah, they anything. Have, they, any, they find them. I have these all over the house. So any issue. And I'm like, yeah, let's put some. And now they're just like, oh. Okay, so the makeup I am using now is Tubes and Co, and I love it. I, I love so the bad. way it makes me look. So, <laughs> all right, she's gonna put some on me. All right, so 
the color I think I'm going to use in Rebecca is light beige. I think you were using the medium. I was using medium when and it was like more summer. Yeah, when it was like Whoop. yeah. So I was going to ask you about this actually. Okay, so this is my personal one. Don't do what I do. Um, you you should keep it closed. Okay. And then you're going to open it up. We're just going to show the little holes, and you're going to tap a little bit into the cap, which okay. I, there's a little in the cap. Right. And. Um, I've had people ask me like, oh, this brush is too compacted, mm -hmm. um, but you don't want that to go down into the bristles of the bottom because you don't want to waste the product. Okay. So you put just enough in the cap, rub it around, and you're going to put it on like circular like this. And what kind of brush is that? This is a brush on our website. It's called the Mineral Makeup Brush, but it's okay, like, so like it's... a Kabuki style okay. brush. So you Kabuki. Should... Kabuki. Kabuki. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And it's buildable cover, so like you can just put like one layer, which is what I mostly okay. will start with. And then and you anywhere... have a you have a primer. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, if I wanted to, I could put the primer on. You could. Underneath this. Or yes. where does the primer generally go? Does it undergo under liquid foundation? It goes under both. Okay. So some people will use liquid foundation, use a primer first, and then they'll just like kind of touch up with all right. So now you're all okay. mineral makeup. Yeah. That's about yeah. two layers ish, okay. but maybe a little bit more. Put around your under okay. eyes, okay. and then what do you, you do? Blush. Blush. That's oh good. yes, I yeah, need I a brush. Just do blush. And this is a blush brush. I'm assuming. This is a blush brush. So this is. I would buy this. This we sell on the website. Okay. This is called our mineral makeup brush. Okay. And we currently do not have a blush brush. So this is my. Old. Yeah, something I've had a long time. Just buy it. Okay, so what about the fibers in the brushes? Because, like, do we want okay. to buy a natural brush or is this synthetic? That's synthetic, okay. and I'll tell you why. Um, when you're buying a natural brush, sometimes they're made with goat hair or other different animals. Uh -huh. They are putting heavy chemicals to deodorize that hair. Because you have and to. And then they're, yes, because they have to. And then they're putting it in the brush and calling it natural bristle brush. And people are gravitating to that because yeah, they want I, to do, I, I have, when you when you hear synthetic, you're like, oh, no. I don't want synthetic. Okay, right. and so these don't have to have any chemicals on them. They aren't washed with any deodorizing just chemicals. Yeah. Just, yeah. And there's nothing on it that's going to hurt me. No. Okay. Cause yeah, that's like, sometimes, you know, we get to where I'm like, I, I just don't know, yeah. but I know a okay. goat needs to be deodorized. We call goats devil ass. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Cause they need all to right. be deodorized. How do I look? Is it beautiful? Thank you're you. Yeah. This is all, glowing. this is all I ever wear if I'm wearing makeup and you go I somewhere just, special, you can throw in some of Yeah, blocks. if Justin and I go on a date, so I'll wear mascara then too. Because, you know, I want to look fancy. I want to look <laughs> fancy. Tell me about the deodorant. What is different about this than like a deodorant, you, a natural deodorant you would buy at Whole Foods or a grocery okay, store, a natural grocery store? So our deodorant is made with magnesium hydroxide and that is going to keep your pH where you're not going to stink. So it's really effective. Um, it's not a antiperspirant it's uh -huh. not going to stop you from sweating um, but it's a deodorant okay. and it has a nourishing tallow in it so a lot of people a lot of natural deodorants either they have reactions to them or they'll change the color of their underarm skin like darken it or different Why things like that, that happen? that's gross that is a reaction sometimes to baking soda and oh. and the like irritation I'm that people that get hasn't ever happened is to me. from baking soda too <laughs> and i've had people ask me that like i've used this natural deodorant and now my the skin under my arms is darker what is that about does it go away when it does stop? it does go okay away. good it does go away and so I would hate for someone to, have to deal with that right the ingredients are just grass-fed tallow organic arrowroot powder magnesium hydroxide coconut oil and lavender and we have four different scents we have the lavender mm -hmm. we have a balsam fir and cedarwood which is i call it the manly scent um but i it's actually my favorite okay. so i use that one there's a bergamot and lime and an, a completely unscented. And in almost all of our products, we offer a completely unscented version for okay. people that just want no no scent at all, even with essential oils. Nice. Awesome. Thank you, Emily. You're welcome. Thank you for coming to visit me. We had so much fun. We We're having so much fun. We're about to pack up the kids and go on a picnic, picnic. and let the kids run around. It's going to be like 58 degrees outside today. So we're going to soak up that sun and enjoy the cloudless sky. Yeah. And if you guys are interested, it's tubesandco.com and they are going to have a huge Black Friday sale. 
Um, yes. So support, su support small businesses and support this family and their endeavor to just help people have a more natural lifestyle and they're using amazing products. And again, she didn't ask me to do this. <laughs> she didn't pay me to do this. This is totally like, I just want to spread the word and I want people to know that there are good products that you can buy out there. Um, of course, I mean, you can DIY any of this. Right. Um, so, you know, if that's more your style, like just start looking around for, you know, more natural products that you can DIY. And, you know, this is one way that you can, can you know, have a healthier life. And so thank it's you kind so of the last much. thing that people change, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, they, they change their food, they change mm -hmm. their lifestyle, but the products are some of the last things that people are like not wanting to let go of that shampoo or yeah. of that face product. Yes. So go check them out. They're amazing. They're on Facebook and Instagram, Tips & Co Organics. Okay. You can find us on both. On both. Yeah. And if you just go to my Instagram, Rebecca.Rhodes, you, I have, you know, stuff in there where I went with a, I went to a conference with her oh, yeah. and we <laughs> sold, well, yeah. So we went to Wild and Free together and we, and had, a we had so much fun. fun. Time. <laughs> we had so much fun and we got to spread the word about how amazing tallow is. And so that's why I was like, let's Come do a video. Out. We should do a video. So if anything, get you some tallow from a butcher, render it down, use it in cooking, yes. rub it on your body, eat, oh, buy some Tupsico. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day.